Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Computer Videos. I wanted to talk to you about something that's kind of happened as part of Marchintosh this year, which is the release of Global Talk, which is this cool way to connect your retro Mac across the internet to other Macs for the purposes of file sharing, playing games, all kinds of different stuff. Like really the, the possibilities are endless. It's just limited by people's imagination. Um, I have seen uh, a lot of really neat stuff. Uh, but I think one of the things that people have kind of latched onto the most is printing. Um, and it really just comes down to that you need a local talk compatible printer. And I think the one that kind of occupies a space that's special in most people's hearts is the Image Writer or the Image Writer 2. And there is a way to get those connected, but it requires a special piece of hardware. The Apple Image Writer 2 local talk option. This is a dedicated card that fits inside your um, image writer too. Uh, so that way that you can actually connect it to your local talk network so that people can print. Um, when I got this card from uh, Retro Tech Chris, thank you again, Chris, uh, a couple of months back, it kind of sat around. I didn't really have a thing uh, to do with it until uh, all this stuff started with Global Talk and then I got excited about it again. So uh, I went ahead and I broke the card out and then I thought, well, I could look at a manual, but I wonder if there's any videos on YouTube that kind of show you how to install it. Turns out there's really not. So I thought that I'd use this opportunity to do a little bit of an instructional video and uh, kind of get my printer ready before Marchintosh is over. So let's go to the footage. Here's the one I got from Retro Tech Chris. Thanks again, Chris. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Here is a parts list, a warranty card that no one ever sends in, um, it also included the floppy disk, which includes software that lets you uniquely name your printer on the network. A completely unused owner's manual. And a little supplement, which is kind of important to me because I actually own a ImageWriter 2L. And here's the card. It's pretty neat. Um... The only thing that's not in my box are the little plastic standoffs, and you can always identify the card because it'll say local talk option in the corner. It probably makes sense to test the printer before we start ripping it apart. The way you do that is you hold down the form feed button, power on the printer, and then release the form feed. And what that'll do is that'll do the built-in self-diagnostic. You can just power the printer off to stop it. Let's see what we got. It shows the 24K of RAM that's standard, no Apple Talk option. Start by removing the platen knob and then unplug your printer. Remove the top cover and then remove the ribbon. Ensure that your carriage is all the way to the left. Go ahead and remove these two screws. They're captive, so they'll stay in place. Go ahead and switch the feed to the lowest position, and then pop loose the top cover. You should be able to rock this forward and sort of lock it in place like a kickstand at the front of the printer. Go ahead and move the carriage so that way it's out of your way because we're going to need to change some jumper settings. Go ahead and move switch 4 on sub switch 2. And now we're ready to install our card. Go ahead and place it into the slot, making sure that you secure it to the nylon standoffs that were included. And plug in the ground right here on this lug. Give everything a once over, and now you're ready to reassemble your printer. We're not gonna reassemble it all the way though, because it probably makes sense to do a little bit of testing before we screw everything in. Replace your ribbon, replace your top cover, replace the platen knob, and plug your printer back in. Go ahead and power on the printer and verify that you get no error lights. 
Looks good. Go ahead and unplug your printer. Remove the top cover. And let's go ahead and secure these screws. Now, replace your top cover. Plug your printer back in. And let's do a print test. We seem to be working. Let's see what the printout says. Sure enough, we've got a local talk card. And that's it. Honestly, it was that simple. Uh, I did have to, like, put it together and take it apart a couple of times to get all the footage I needed. But um, every time I did, it worked just fine. So uh, seemingly I didn't break anything. I would not really recommend that people install the card without the standoffs. Uh, just because uh, there is a risk. There, I mean, there's through-hole components all over that board. So uh, it is possible that it could kind of sit forward and short something out. But I thought in the interest of uh, getting the video out in a timely manner, um, I would just kind of cheat. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can just get uh, those basic standoffs at the store or gosh, I'm sure that you could just use some sort of non-conductive uh, material to kind of prop the end of the bar, uh, the card up to make sure that it stays mated on that connector. But that's really it for the moment. I want to thank everybody for taking a few minutes uh, out of their evening and spending it with me. And remember, uh, March and Tosh goes until the end of this month. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. Have a great evening.